All right. Um, so the first speller will be a uh, number 19. So uh, when we call your number, you can just unmute yourself and then uh, just say something so we know that you're unmuted and then we'll give you your word. So a uh, speller 19, you can unmute yourself. Here. Okay. Um, Okay. All right. All uh, right. Your word is accolade. A C C O L A D E. That is correct. Yeah, um, just make sure that you keep your hands up uh, the whole time. Yeah, that's fine. And then um, also just make sure you say the word after you're done spelling so we know that you're done. But, okay. And yeah, uh, you can mute yourself after you're done spelling. Yeah, I know. All right. Um, the next speller is uh, speller 27. Hi. All right, uh, your word is nihilism. Nihilism, am I saying the word correctly? Uh, we don't answer that question. Okay, nihilism. May I have all the information? Yeah, so the pronunciations are nihilism, nihilism, or nihilism. It's a noun and it comes from a German origin. Um, it means the doctrine that nothing actually exists or that life has no innate value. And uh, the sense is ex existentialism is just, an, is just another form of nihilism in Nietzsche's sense, who's a philosopher. Okay. Can you repeat the word? Uh, the word is nihilism. Nihilism. N I H I L. I S M nihilism. That is correct. Thank you. All right. Uh, the next speller is number twenty-eight. Hello. Yep. All right. Okay. Uh, your word has a homonym, so we'll give you the part of speech and a uh, definition. Uh, so the word is immerse, it's a verb, and it means to punish by a penalty of which the amount is not fixed by law, but left to the court. Um, could you repeat the word? Uh, the word is immerse. Could you um, give all the information? Yeah, so the only pronunciation is immerse, it's a verb, and it comes from Middle English. It means to punish by a penalty of which the amount is not fixed by law, but is left to discretion of the court. And uh, the sense is the court, the court intended to immerse the criminal with a three hundred dollar fine and a, a temporary jail sentence. Okay, immerse, U M M E R S E, immerse. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is A M E R C E. Okay. All right. Uh, the next spell is number 29. All right. Uh, could you just say something? Uh, okay, yeah. That's fine. And also, can you just keep your hands up? Yeah. All right. Uh, your word is crocus. Crocus. Um, can I want the information? Yeah. So the only pronunciation is crocus. It's a noun, and it comes from New Latin. It's a small Eurasian plant of the iris family, which uh, grows with yellow, purple, or white flowers. Uh, the sense is the daffodil, crocus, and tulip in Nicole's flower bed are an amazing sight in springtime. Uh, do I use K or C? Uh, we can't answer that. 
Oh, crocus, C-R-O-C-U-S. That is correct. Thanks. All right, um, the next flower is number 34. Hello. All right, uh, your word is timorous. Timorous, can, I, can you please repeat the word? Uh, the word is timorous. Can I please have all the information? Yeah, so there's two pronunciations. It can be pronounced timorous or timorous. It's an adjective and it comes from Middle English, from French, from Latin. Uh, it means showing fear or apprehension or otherwise timid. Uh, the sense is Susan's timorous kitten would not come out from under the bed. Timorous. Timorous. T I M E R E S. Timorous. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is T I M O R. -E O U S. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, the next speller is number thirty-six. Hello. Uh, can you bring your hands up? I'm sorry. All right. Uh, your word is tumulus. Tumulus. Can I have all the information? Yeah, so it can, there's two pronunciations. It can be pronounced tumulus or tumulus. Um, it's a noun and it comes from Latin. It means a small artificial hill or mound, such as one over a grave. And uh, the, and the sense is the entrance was located at the center of the tumulus. Can you announce the word again? Yeah, it can be tumulus or tumulus. Um, can you pronounce it once again? Yeah, it can be, t sorry, tumulus or tumulus. Tumulus. Can you pronounce it once again? I can't uh, understand. Yeah, it's tumulus or tumulus. Can you give me all the information? Yeah, so the word is tumulus or tumulus. It's a noun and it comes from Latin. It means a small artificial hill or mound, such as one over a grave. And uh, the sense is the entrance was located at the center of the tumulus. T-E-U-M-I-L-L-O-U-S, tumulus. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is T-U-M-U-L-U-S. Okay, bye. All right, uh, the next speller is number 41. Hi. All right, um, your word is elucidate. Elucidate, we have all the information. Yeah, so it can be pronounced elucidate, 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 or elucidate. It's a verb and it comes from Latin and it means to clarify. Uh, the sense is the teacher attempted to elucidate the complex math topic to her students. Elucidate. E L U C I D A T E, elucidate. That is correct. All right, uh, the next flower is number 47. Hi. All right, uh, your word is torsion. Can you please give me all the information? Yeah, so uh, the only pronunciation is torsion. It's a noun and it comes from Latin. It means the act of turning or twisting. And uh, the sense is torsion is applied when you turn an object which is fixed at one end. 
Thank you. Portion. T O R S I O N. Torsion. That is correct. Thank you. Uh, the next star is number 48. Uh, number 48. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just keep your hands up. All right. Uh, your word is basilica. Basilica. Also, can you keep your hands up? Can I have all the information, please? Yeah, so uh, the only, actually, there's two pronunciations. It can be pronounced basilica or basilica. It's a noun and it comes from Latin. It's a building with a wide central hall uh, flanked by aisles or porticos and ending in a semicircular wall. Uh, the sense is the building was designed like a generic Roman basilica with three aisles and an apse. Okay. B A S I L I C A. That is correct. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the next story is number 49. Hello. All right, uh, your word is tarmac. Tarmac. Can you please give me all the information? Yeah, so the only pronunciation is tarmac. It's a noun and it comes from Middle English or German plus a British name. Uh, it's the definition is just any of several types of roads. And the sentence is the plane was damaged on landing when it slid off the tarmac. Tarmac. T A R M A C. Tarmac. That is correct. Thank you. All right. Uh, the next spell is number 54. Hello. Hi. All right. Uh, your word is larcenous. Um, can you please give me all the information? Yeah, so there's two pronunciations. It can be pronounced larcenous or larcenous. It's an adjective and it comes from Middle English, from French, from Latin, plus uh, Middle English parts. Uh, larcenous means relating to theft of personal property. And uh, the sentence is Jason was accused of obtaining, obtaining his cousin's money by the use of forged checks with larcenous intent. Larcenous. L A R C I N O U S. Larcenous. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is L-A-R-C-E-N-O-U-S. Thank you. All right, uh, the next speller is number 57. Here. All right, uh, your word is hodiernal. May I have all the information about it? Yeah, so there, there's only two pronunciations. It can be hodiernal or hodiernal. It's an adjective and it comes from English from Latin plus another English uh, part. Uh, it means relating to the present day. And the sentence is the writing strategies and techniques explained in the class were, were mostly hodiernal. Okay. H O. D I E R N A L. That is correct. Uh, number 58 is next. Um, hello. Hi. All right. Uh, your word is whirligig. May I please have all the information? Yeah, so there's two pronunciations. It can be whirligig or whirligig. It's a noun and it comes from Middle English. A whirligig is a toy that spins around, for example, a top or a windmill. 
And uh, the sense is the play has the warlige activity of a farce. Um, can you pronounce it? Yeah, uh, the two pronunciations are horligig or warligig. H O R L I G I G, horligig. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is W H I R L I G I G. Thank you. All right, uh, number 67, you're next. Is, is number 67 even in here? No, I don't see them, Shari. Okay. All right, um, the number 70. Hi. Uh, all right, uh, can you bring your hands up? All right. Okay, uh, your word is Nautilus. N-A-U-T-I-L-U-S, Nautilus. That is correct. Thanks. All right, uh, number 76. Hello. All right, uh, your word is ocarina. May I have all the information, please? Yeah, so the only pronunciation is ocarina. It's a noun and it's Italian from Latin. An ocarina is a metal wind instrument with holes for the fingers. And uh, the sense is Sarah plays her ocarina and sits in the garden thinking of uh, daydreams. Ocarina. O C A R I N A. Ocarina. That is correct. Thank you. Uh, number 78. Is I don't think seventy eight's here either. Yeah, I don't see them. Oh, 78. 78. Wait, who are the people that? Okay, never mind. Yeah, they're just not here. All right. Um. Okay, then ninety four. Hello. Uh, can you bring your hands up? All right. Okay, uh, your word is aqueduct. Aqueduct. May I have all the information? Yeah, so the word is aqueduct. It's a noun and it comes from Latin. It means an artificial channel for conveying water, typically in the form of a bridge across a valley or another gap. And uh, the sense is Los Angeles still draws half of its water from the aqueduct. Aqueduct, A Q U A D U C T, aqueduct. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is A Q U E D U C T. Thank you. All right, um, number 98. Hello. All right, uh, your word has a homonym, so I will give you the definition and part of speech. Uh, so the word is gamble. It's a verb and it means to skip or jump, ab jump about playfully or to frolic. May I please have the word again? Uh, the word is gamble. Gamble, may I please have all the information? Yeah, so the only pronunciation is gamble. It's a verb and it comes from Middle French from Provençal. It means to skip or jump about playfully or to frolic. And uh, the sense is the children in the playground seem to gamble about singing, playing, and frolicking. 
Campbell. Campbell. J A M B L E Gamble. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is G A M B O L. Thank you. All right. Um, the next speller is number 101. Uh, hello. All right. Uh, can you bring your hands up? All right. Uh, your word is excoriate. Excoriate. Okay. Can I please have all the information? Yeah. So there's a couple of pronunciations. So it can be pronounced excoriate, excoriate, or excoriate. It's a verb and it comes from Middle English from Latin. Uh, it means to censure scathingly. And uh, the sentence is coach proceeded to excoriate Edward in front of the entire football squad. Um, can I please have the meaning again? Yeah, it means to censure scathing, scathingly or to scold. Okay, to scold. Okay. E X. C O R A I T E. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is E X C O R I A T E. Okay, thank you. All right, um, the next spell is number 105. Hello. Hi. Uh, can you bring your hands up? All right. uh, your word is rappelled. Rappelled. May I have the definition, please? Rappelled means to descend a rock face or other near vertical surface by using a doubled rope around the body and fixed at a higher point. Rappelled. May I have the sentence, please? Yeah, uh, the sentence is, despite losing her shoe, Katie, rap Katie rappelled down a, a vertical 50-foot wall. Rappelled. Rappelled. R-A-P-P-E-L-L-E-D. Rappelled. That is correct. Thank you. All right, uh, the next spell is number 106. Hello. All right. All right. Uh, your word is literatum. Um, can you have all the information? Yeah, so uh, the only pronunciation is literatum. It's an adverb or adjective, and it comes from Latin. Alliteratum means letter for letter. And uh, the sentence is, the reporter chose to include the text of the previous speech, literatum. L-I-T-T-E-R-A-T-I-U-M, literatum. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is L-I-T-E-R-A-T-I-M. Um, the next spell is number 114. Yes. Yeah. All right, uh, can you bring your hands up? All right, uh, your word is garbanzo. Okay, Garbon, may I have the definition and all information? Yeah, so there's two pronunciations. It can be pronounced garbanzo or garbanzo. It's a noun and it comes from Spanish from Arabic. It means a chickpea and uh, the sense is chickpeas, also known as garban garbanzo beans, are used to make hummus and falafel. Okay. Thank you. 
it is. Okay. G A R B A N Z O. That is correct. Okay, and uh, the last spell is number 116. Oh. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, could you bring your hands up? Okay, uh, so your word has a homonym, so I will give you the information. So the word is gorilla. It's a member of an independent band engaged in, engaged in wartime military expeditions. <laughs> May I please have all the information? Yeah, so the word is, uh, there's only one pronunciation, it's just gorilla. It's a noun and it's Spanish from German. It's a member of an independent band engaged in uh, violent wartime military expeditions. And uh, the sense is many of the troops wanted to go on fighting a guerrilla war. G U E R R I L L A. That is correct. Thank you. All right. Uh, so that's the end of the first round. Um, I think we'll take a two minute break or something and then we'll get started with the next round. All right. Um, I think we can go ahead and uh, start the next round. So um, the first speller is number 19. Here. All right. And uh, can you put your hands up? All right. Okay. Uh, your word is tycoon. What's the word? Uh, the word is tycoon. Can I have all information? Yeah. So the only pronunciation is tycoon. It's a noun and it comes from Japanese. A tycoon is a business person of exceptional wealth, power, and influence. And uh, the sense is the pop star turned business tycoon has launched a new range of cosmetics. T Y C O O N. That is correct. Do this one. All right. Okay, um, the next speller is number 27. Hi. All right, uh, your word is illiteracy. Illiteracy, am I saying the word correctly? We can't answer that, but. I, I, I keep forgetting. All right, illiteracy. May I have all the information? Yeah, so. There's a slight alternate pronunciation. It can be illiteracy or illiteracy. It's a noun and it comes from Latin and Middle English parts. It means the inability to read or write. And uh, the sense is South, Su South Sudan has the highest literacy, illiteracy rate for a country at 73%. Illiteracy. I L L I T E. R A C Y illiteracy. That is correct. Thank you. Uh, number number twenty nine is the next speller. Right. Okay. Uh, your word is belabor. Oh, you're muted. Yeah, sorry. Belabor. And also, can you keep your hands up? Belabor, B L A B O R. I'm sorry, that is correct. The correct spelling is B E L A B O R. Thank you. Uh, the next speller is number 41. Hi. Hi. All right. Uh, your word is skirmish. Skirmish. May I have all the information? 
Yeah, so the only pronunciation is skirmish. It's a noun and it comes from French to Middle English. It's a minor dispute or contest between opposing parties. And uh, the sentence is both countries hope that a skirmish at the border would not trigger a war. Skirmish. S K I R M I S H. Skirmish. That is correct. Thank you. Uh, the next speller is number 47. All right. Uh, your word is chameleonic. Can I please have all the information? Also, can you keep your hands up? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the only pronunciation is chameleonic. It's an adjective and it comes from Middle English. It means readily changing color or other attributes or inconstant. And uh, the sense is the soldiers were camouflaged in chameleonic suits so that they could move undetected by the enemy. Can you please repeat the word? Uh, the word is chameleonic. Thank you. Chameleonic. C-H-A-M-E-L-E-O-N-I-C. -E -E chameleonic. That is correct. Thank you. All right, uh, the next speller is number 47. Do you mean 57 or? Uh, sorry, I meant 48, my bad. Yeah. All right, um, can you bring your hands up? Yeah. All right, um, your word is dreary. Can I have all the information, please? Yeah, so there's two slight different pronunciations. It can be dreary or dreary. It's an adjective, and it comes from Middle English, from German, from Old Norse. Uh, dreary means being without liveliness, cheer, joy, or hope. And uh, the, sec the sense is, after decades of dreary state-run industries, most former communist countries are starting to open up to private competitors. Can you repeat the word, please? Uh, the word is dreary or dreary. D-R-E-E-R-Y. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is D-R-E-A-R-Y. Thank you. Um, the next spell is number 49. Hi. Hi. All right. Uh, your word is deficiency. Deficiency. Can I please have all the information? Yeah. So there's two pronunciations. It can be deficiency or deficiency. It's a noun and it comes from Latin plus English parts. It means the quality or state of lacking in some quality, faculty, or characteristic. And uh, the sense is severe iron deficiency can cause developmental delay. Deficiency. D E F I C I E N C Y deficiency. That is correct. Thanks. Okay, uh, the next spell is number 57. Here. Uh, can you bring your hands up? Oh, yeah, sure. All right, uh, your word is malevolent. May I have all the information about it? Yeah, so the only pronunciation is malevolent. It's an adjective and it comes from Latin. Malevolent means having or showing deep-seated hatred or ill will. And uh, the sense is the villain has the fierce, malevolent eyes of a demon. Okay. M A V. I mean, sorry. M A O. 
E-V-E-N-T. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is M-A-L-E-V-O-L-E-N-T. Thanks. Okay, uh, the next speller is number 70. Hello. Hi. All right. Uh, your word is adept. May I have all the information? Yeah, so there's two pronunciations. It can be adept or adept. It's a noun and it comes from New Latin. Adept means very skilled or proficient at something. And uh, the sentence is, the boy was unusually adept in mathematical calculations. Can you give me the pronunciation again? Yeah, the word is adept or adept. A, D, E, P, T, adept. That is correct. Thanks. Okay, uh, the next spell is number 76. Or... Oh. Okay. All right. Um, your word is abhorrent. Abhorrent. May I have all the information, please? Yeah, so there's two pronunciations. It can be abhorrent or abhorrent. It's an adjective and it comes from Latin. Uh, the word means very re very repugnant or hateful, and uh, the sense is Derek's abhorrent behavior caused him to get kicked off the football team. Can I have the pronunciation? Yeah, it can be abhorrent or abhorrent. Abhorrent. A B H O R R E N T. Abhorrent. That is correct. Thank you. Um, number 105 is the next spell. Hello. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. All right, uh, your word is emancipate. Emancipate. May I have the definition, please? Yeah, um, emancipate means to set free from the authority of its father or parents. Um, emancipate. May I have a sentence, please? Yeah, um, the sentence is, a New York court allowed Drew to emancipate himself from his mother's care at age 15. Emancipate. Emancipate. E. M. A. N. C. I. P. A. T. E. Emancipate. That is correct. Thank you. All right. Um, the next speller is number 114. Yes. Um, can you bring both of your hands? All right. Um, okay, uh, your word is numerology. Okay, that's the definition. Yeah, uh, numerology means the study of the significance of numbers. Okay, N, U, M, E, R, O, L, O, G, Y. That is correct. Thanks. All right. And uh, the last spell is number 116. Here. All right. Uh, your word is Genesis. Genesis. May I please have all the information? Yeah, so the only pronunciation is Genesis. It's a noun and it comes from Latin, uh, from Greek. Uh, it means an origin, creation, or beginning. 
and uh, the senses, we cannot yet satisfact satisfactorily explain the genesis of the universe. Genesis. G E N E S I S. Genesis. That is correct. Thank you. All right. Um, so that's the end of the round. Um, I think we'll just go on ahead to the next round and we'll take a break after the next round. So um, the first spell of the round is uh, number 19. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, can you bring your hands up? Oh, yeah. Uh, your word is parapet. information yeah so the pronunciations of the word are parapet parapet or parapet it's a noun and it comes from italian from latin a parapet is a low protective wall along the edge of a roof bridge or balcony for troops to hide and uh, the sense is a blackbird flew down and perched on the parapet outside of his window Start again. Uh, you can start again, but you have to keep the same letters. P E R A P E T. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is P-A-R-A-P-E-T. Okay. All right, uh, the next speller is number 27. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, your word is raucous. Raucous, may I have all the information? Yeah, so the only pronunciation is raucous. It's an adjective and it's from Latin. It means disagreeably harsh or strident or disorderly. And uh, the sense is seagulls swooped and planed overhead, uh, laying raucous claim to some scrap of food in the, in the possession of one of the beachgoers. Okay, raucous. R A U C O U S, raucous. That is correct. Thank you. All right. Uh, the next speller is number 41. Hi. All right. All right. Uh, your word is aversion. Aversion? Yeah. May I have all the may I have all the information? Yeah. So the Pronunciations are aversion or aversion. It's a noun and it comes from Latin and English parts. It means a feeling of repulsion, of revulsion and repugnance towards something. And uh, the sense is despite his aversion to publicity, Arnold was persuaded to talk to the press. You have the word again? Uh, the word is aversion or aversion. Aversion. A V E R S I O N aversion. That is correct. Thank you. All right. Um, the next speller is number forty-seven. Hi. All right. Uh, your word is heinous. All right, can you please give me all the information? Yeah, so it can be pronounced heinous, heinous, or highness. Uh, the word is an adjective and it comes from Middle English from French plus another Middle English part. Heinous means hatefully or shockingly evil, grossly bad, or enormously and flagrantly criminal. And uh, the sense is more than 1,000 people marched to protest a heinous crime in the city. Uh, can you please repeat the word? The word is heinous 
or heinous or highness? Okay, thank you. Heinous. H E I N O U S. Heinous. That is correct. Thank you. All right. Um, the next speller is number 49. All right, uh, your word is tenacity. Tenacity. May I please have all of the information? Yeah, so the word can be pronounced tenacity or, ten or tenacity. It's a noun and it comes from Latin. Uh, it means the quality or fact of being able to grip something firmly. And um, the sense is Christian, was, Christian succeeded by virtue of her tenacity rather than her talent. Tenacity. T E N A C I T Y tenacity. That is correct. Thanks. All right. Um, the next bow is number seventy. Hi. All right, uh, your word is satirical. May I have all the information, please? Yeah, also, can you keep your hands up? You're good. All right, uh, the only pronunciation is satirical. It's an adjective and it comes from Middle French from Latin plus Middle English. Uh, it means related to the use of humor, irony, exaggeration, or ridicule to expose and criticize an issue or a person. And the, the sense is Peter had, had an infectious sense of humor and recently scripted an amusing and satirical play. What is the pronunciation again? Uh, the word is satirical. S-E-T-E-R-I-C-A-L, satirical. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is S-A-T-I-R-I-C-A-L. Okay, uh, the next speller is number 76. Hello. All right, um, your word is hoarseness. May I have all the information, please? Yeah, so there's a slight alternate pronunciation. It can be hoarseness or hoarseness. It's a noun and it comes from Middle English. Um, hoarseness means the quality or state of having a rough sounding voice. And uh, the sense is Olivia, who sings for a living, is prone to hoarseness. Hoarseness. H O. R C E N O U S, hoarseness. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is H O A R S E N E S S. Thank you. All right, um, the next spell is number 105. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, your word is federation. Federation. May I have the definition, please? Yeah, um, a federation is, sorry, just give me a second. All right, uh, the feder a federation is the act of uniting in a league or the formation of a single sovereign power by the uniting of separate states, provinces, or colonies. Federation. May I have a, the sentence, please? Yeah, uh, the United States was the first modern federation with a national government. Federation. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Uh, it's just the one, okay. Federation. Federation. 
Federation. F E D E R A T I O N Federation. That is correct. Thank you. All right, um, the next flower is number 114. Yes. All right. Okay, uh, your word is prodigal. May I have the definition? And the yeah, definition? so prodigal means given to reckless extravagance or unrestrained in spending or using up one's means. R O D I G A L. Prodigal. That is correct. Thank you. All right. And uh, the last speller is number 116. All right. Uh, your word is compulsory. Compulsory. May I please have all the information? Yeah, so it can be pronounced compulsory or compulsory as an adjective, and it comes from Latin. Uh, it means required by law or a rule, or otherwise obligatory, obligatory or mandatory. And uh, the sentence is, in East Germany, learning Russian was compulsory. <laughs> compulsory. C-O-M-P-U-L-S-A-R-Y. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is C-O-M-P-U-L-S-O-R-Y. Thank you. Um, so that's the end of round three. So we have six spellers remaining. Um, we'll take a two minute break or something and then we'll get started with round four. 27, you can meet yourself. All right. Um, okay. Uh, your word is veal skin. Am I saying? Oh, yeah. Okay. Veal skin. May I have all the information? Yeah. So the only pronunciation is veal skin. It's a noun and it comes from Middle English, from French, from Latin, uh, plus Middle English from Old Norse. Uh, veal skin is a large piece of leather made from the integument of a calf. And uh, the sentence is, Kevin is wearing heavy-duty boots made of veal skin. Veal skin. Okay, veal skin. V-E-A-L-S-K-I-N. Veal skin. That is correct. Thank you. All right. Uh, the next spell is number 41. Hi. All right, uh, your word is consummate. Consummate, may I have all the information? Yeah, so it can be pronounced consummate, consummate or consummate. It's an adjective and it comes from Middle English from Latin. A consummate means perfect or extremely skilled. And the sense is Tony won the race with consummate ease. May I have the definition again? Sorry, what'd you say? We have the definition again. Oh yeah, uh, it means perfect or extremely skilled. Consummate. C O N S U M A T E consummate. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is C O N S U M M A T E. But please stay. Yeah. Um, if you do miss in this round, just stay um, just in case there's a tiebreaker. All right. Um, the next bar is number 47. Hi. 
All right. Uh, your word is spendthrift. Can you please give me the definition and yeah. all the information? Yeah, so there's two pronunciations. It can be spendthrift or spendthrift. It's a noun and it comes from two Middle English parts. A spendthrift is one that, that spends money wastefully. And uh, the sentence is Carlos's dad advised him not to be a spendthrift. Can you please repeat the word? Yeah, it can be spendthrift or spendthrift. Okay. Spendthrift. S P E N D T H R I F T. Spendthrift. That is correct. Thank you. Um, the next spell is number 49. Hi. All right. Uh, your word is gentrification. Gentri gentrification. Can you please give me all the information? Yeah. So the only pronunciation is gentrification. It's a noun and it comes from two Middle English parts plus um, a French and Latin part. Um, it's the process of renovating and improving a house or district so that middle class or, affl or affluent people move in. And uh, the sense is almost all cities are experiencing the effects of gentrification. Can you please repeat the word? Yeah, the word is gentrification. Gentrification. G-E-N-T-R- I F I C A T I O N gentrification. That is correct. Thanks. All right. Uh, the next spell is number one hundred five. Uh, no, yeah, one hundred five. Right. Um. Okay, so your word has a homonym, so I'll give you the information. So the word is complement. It's a noun, and it means a finishing or consummating part, integral, or component. Complement. May I have a part of speech, please? Uh, complement is a noun. Complement. May I have a sentence, please? Yeah. Um, the sentence is... Strawberries and ice cream make for a perfect compliment. 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 C O M P L E M E N T. Compliment. That is correct. Thank you. All right, and uh, the last bar is number 114. All right. Uh, your word is jugular. May I have the definition? And yeah, jugular means relating to the throat or neck. J. L-A-R. That is correct. Okay, um, so that's the end of round four. Uh, so we'll just keep going on to round five. And um, speller 41. Um, so since there's five people left, um, you're done. So you can leave the call if you want. Um, so... So yeah, the five spells remaining are 27, 47, 49, 105, and 114. All right. Okay, so uh, number 27, you can unmute yourself. Okay. All right. Uh, your word is epilogue. Epilogue. Am I saying the word correctly? Um, 
it sounds oh, yeah. Right. Oh, okay, epilogue. May I have all the information? Yeah, so the word can be pronounced epilogue, 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 or epilogue. Um, it's a noun and it comes from Middle English, from French, from Latin, from Greek. And an epilogue is a section or speech at the end of a book or play that serves as a comment on or a conclusion to what has happened. And uh, the sentence is the meaning of the book's title is revealed in the epilogue. Epilogue, E P I L O G U E, epilogue. That is correct. Thank you. All right, um, number 47. All right, uh, your word is modulo. Can you please give me all the information? Yeah, so the word is modulo. It's a preposition and it comes from New Latin. Modulo means respect to a number that divides the difference of two other numbers without leaving a remainder. And uh, the sentence is the number eight is equivalent to one in modulo seven calculations. Uh, can I ask if this word has a homonym? Um, I don't think so. Okay, can you please repeat the word? Uh, the word is modulo. Modulo. M-O-D-U-L-O. -O. Modulo. That is correct. Thank you. Um, num number 49. Oh. All right, uh, your word is maverick. Maverick. Can I please have all of the information, please? Yeah, so it can be pronounced maverick, maverick, or maverick. Um, it's a noun, and it comes from, a, comes from an American name. Uh, it means a member of any group who refuses to follow the rules or traditions of the group. And uh, the sense is Elizabeth has established a reputation as a maverick. Maverick. M A V E R I C K. Maverick. That is correct. Thanks. All right. Um, number 105. Hello. All right, uh, your word is thrombosis. Thrombosis. May I have the definition, please? Yeah, uh, thrombosis means formation of a blood clot within a blood, within a blood vessel. Thrombosis. May I have a sentence, please? Yeah, uh, Becky's heart attack was attributed to the thrombosis. Thrombosis. please sorry what did you say may i have the language of origin oh please? yeah um it's new latin from greek thrombosis t h r o m O S I S thrombosis. That is correct. Thank you. All right. Um, star one fourteen. All right. Wait, may I ask a question? Yeah. Did the top four that go to the finals? Yeah. Um. So it's top three to four. Uh, it depends on how we are doing towards the end of the B, but a maximum of four. So, yeah. uh, you can unmute yourself again. All right. Uh, your word is accretion. I have the definition. And, yeah. Accretion means the process of growth or increase. Wait, how is it pronounced increasing? What are the pronouns? No, the word is accretion. Okay. A T T 
R I T I A N. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct spelling is A C C R E T I O N. Wait, may I leave the meeting? Um, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so yeah, that's the end of round five. Um, so as it turns out, there's four spells left. So 27, 47, 49, and 105. So yeah, all of you guys will go on to the grand finals tomorrow. So congrats. Yep. Good job, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, will there, will there be rounds to determine fourth place, third place, second place, and first place? No. We're, yeah. It's hey, congratulations. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.